Stray Kids are masters of transitions and effects in their videos. I reacted to their song Maniac and I saw a really cool effect. It's like this ghost effect thing. The ghost just like pop out of him. I thought to myself, that looks easy enough. I could probably do that. So today I'm gonna be recreating that ghosting effect and showing you guys how I did it. We have to start off by moving this setup so we can actually have some space to work with. Keep crawling back this is gonna be my final camera angle. In the original, you could see his entire body, so I tried to match that the best that I could. Now we need to get the lighting correct. There's a really harsh backlight and a nice soft key light, so let's start off by getting the backlight. Obviously, it's a backlight. It needs to be behind me. We both know what we're supposed to do. Yes, here's what it looks like so far, and here's what that light is actually doing. We got the backlight, we need our nice soft key light. Let's grab a stand and a new light. I was able to get a whole bunch of new gear for this thanks to all my Patreons, link is in the description below. The key light needs to be like really, really diffused, really soft. So I started off with just a basic softbox and I didn't, I didn't like it. It wasn't soft enough. It needed to be way softer. So I went in my garage. I found this diffusion material, which is like a curtain. Couple of light stands later and now we have this gigantic soft light. Here's what that key light looks like. Here's the backlight again. I ended up moving it just a little bit. And now here's both of them together. So our lighting is complete. Now we can actually film some stuff. Obviously in the original clip, there's multiple versions of himself, which tells me that they used a green screen. We need a green screen. Let's clear the studio once again. I use the same stands from the diffuser for my green screen. It's very important not to change camera angles. You need the exact same perspective. Just don't even move your tripod. I kept looking at the camera to like make sure the green screen is in the middle, kind of important. <laughs> Raised it up to the ceiling, rolled it out enough for me to walk on. And this is where we're starting. It's very important to light a green screen, obviously. And that lighting has to somewhat match our original footage. My key light didn't move. I had to use the new lights for the green screen. So I had to use one of these LED strip lights for my backlight. The lighting on me is good. It looks great. To light the green screen, I took one of my lights, took the softbox and put it on one side of the green screen. On the other side, I did the same, except I used an umbrella because I only have one of the soft boxes. But you gotta work with what you got. This ended up being a problem though. It's very important that the lighting on the green screen is the same and even and nice and beautiful. I wasn't getting that. I was getting this crazy shadow on me from the umbrella, so I had to like block that light. I used a five in one reflector as a flag, put it right next to the umbrella so that light wasn't hitting me, just the green screen. And boom, weird shadow is gone. Now we can film all of the little ghosty parts, you know, got one going to the left, one going to the right, and one going to the front. Probably should have watched the Stray Kids video again before doing this because my ghost stuff did not match their ghost stuff, but it's fine. Now, as far as editing goes, you wanna line up your clips and throw them into After Effects. First off, rename your layers. This is gonna make your life very easy. I chose to add three ghosts, one on the left, one on the right, and one coming towards the camera in the front. Since my front ghost is obviously in the front, I'm gonna move that up to the top of all of the layers. You're gonna wanna be isolated in your frame and your green screen probably isn't taking up like the entire view of the camera. So the first thing that we're gonna do is go up to the pen tool and mask around our green screen. We only wanna see us and the green screen. Go to the effects, find key light, drop it onto your footage. Go to the eyedropper, choose the green on your green screen. You can see that things are kind of working, but all of the green isn't really gone. So I'm gonna change my view to screen matte. So we're gonna want our body to be all white and all of the green to be all black. We're gonna add in a pre-blur and then adjust the clip black and the clip white. You wanna make sure that all of you is white. And then we're gonna shrink it just a little bit and change our viewing from screen matte to final result. The green should be gone. You should be completely cut out at this point. If you have any additional spill, go ahead and add in advanced spill suppression if you need it. So now we have to work on the actual like ghost look. So we're gonna add in Lumetri color, change our saturation to 85. Obviously that's just gonna desaturate our skin just a little bit. Now, if you look at the original footage, they have this nice glow on the ghost. So go to our effects panel, search up glow, drag that onto our footage, glow operation multiply, 
glow colors, AB colors, change the colors to like this nice light bluish. You could also do white if you want to. Change the threshold, radius, and intensity to get a nice glow effect that you like. I don't want mine like too much. So that takes care of getting the ghost look, but in the original effect, they had these echoes of the ghost. The echoes in the original effect are different than the main ghost. They didn't mess with the colors and there's no glow. Duplicate your layer, get rid of Lumetri color and the glow. We're gonna keyframe our opacity over five frames from zero to 75%. This is gonna let our echo turn on nice and smooth. Now we're gonna duplicate that two more times so we have three echoes all together and you're gonna offset each of them so move them over by five frames. So it should go your original footage, echo, 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 like a little staircase. Moving them over is what gives us the actual echo effect. Select all of those echo layers and make a pre-comp. Don't forget to rename it. The original has all of these echoes blurred together so we're gonna drag on a directional blur. Change the direction to the direction you are moving in. You can also keyframe that direction to change directions, like in the original video when he goes up and then comes back down. Adjust your blur length to get something that you like. I kept mine around 50. Pre-comp your original footage with all those echoes, rename it to whatever direction you're walking. Use the scale and position to line up the ghost with the original starting position. We're gonna keyframe the opacity of the ghost layer over three frames from zero to 90, because it's a little see-through in the original footage. Depending on where you cut off your clip, you might need to keyframe the opacity of the ghost to go away. <laughs> So we're gonna do that over 10 frames to get a nice smooth transition. So that gives us this really nice ghost effect. Just do all of this again two more times for the other layers. You don't have to do everything from scratch. You can copy and paste the effects from the ghost layer you just created and just adjust as necessary. That's about it. It's pretty simple. You got a nice ghost effect. I think I got a pretty similar look to their video. What other effects in music videos should I try to recreate? I wanna give a big thank you to all my Patreon supporters, specifically Charity, Jemmy, Kimberly, Lisa, Lucas, Melissa, Miss Heiju, Sabrina, and Victoria. If you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe and all right, all right.